Well, it is a move that has gotten national attention. The Pittsburgh Public Schools hiring a consultant to teach a new method of instructing kids. It's intended to be anti-racist, and what some find curious is that the subject involved is math. KDK lead investigator Andy Sheehan talked with the district leader who recommended it. No matter how math is taught, one plus one will always equal two. But Pittsburgh Public Schools is now offering what it calls an anti-racist approach saying it is trying to address racial inequity in math classes. We think of math as, you know, addition, subtraction, multiplication, sort of an objective reality. How can math be racist? We're talking about really a mindset, and it's an approach. So whether we use the term anti-racist or we talk about um, racial equity, it's, it's, it's the same. Last week, the school board approved a $50,000 contract to the consulting group Quetzal, to provide workshops for district math teachers to more fully engage students of color in learning math and hopefully improve performance. According to the most recent test scores, 11.6 percent of the district's African-American grade students scored proficient in math, compared to 47.5 percent of white students. The district has long sought to close that gap and says it will now be taking this approach. It's one thing to say that, you know, African-American students in the, in the district are un, underperforming. It's another thing to say that the instruction by math teachers is a racist. We don't use um, any language to call any approach racist, but what we do is we talk about approaches that are anti-racist. According to Assistant Superintendent Dr. Shaw McNeil, this means addressing historic inequities in educating students by exposing them to black professionals in STEM fields to tell students of the African-American legacy in mathematics, emphasizing its practical applications in a hands-on welcoming way. And McNeil says the emphasis is on concepts and reasoning rather than putting importance on getting the answer right. Is this not sort of dumbing down the curriculum, curric the math curriculum to say, hey, uh, you know, you didn't get the right answer, but, you know, close enough. At times, there is a right or wrong answer, but we don't just emphasize the right or wrong answer. We emphasize the journey. Teachers at the District Science and Technology Academy who took the workshops last year say they were provided practical strategies to engage their students of color in how math works in their daily lives and that those strategies are paying off. It was awesome being able to be given kind of assignments and challenges like that last year and to think about how I can just be a better teacher for our black and brown students, how to make their learning experience even better here at SciTech. Perhaps it's the wording of the contract rather than the methods themselves that cause this controversy, but the district says going forward it will be addressing these issues of equity and access and hopefully prompt a new love of math among students of color. Reporting in the newsroom, Andy Sheehan, KDKA-TV News.